Hello Year 1 and welcome back to our first writing lesson of this term. Today is Monday the 22nd of February 2021. This week we will be looking at poems. So let's get started and see what we will be focusing on today. So our lesson objective is to explore the features of a poem. For this lesson you will need a whiteboard, a whiteboard pen, a sharpened pencil and your poem which is in your work packs. Now the poem looks like this um, picture that's on the screen. You have two poems in your pack but you will need the one that's on the screen so I would like you to pause the video now and make sure that you have all of these things. Okay welcome back. Our sound for the day today is I. 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 Well done. And this letter's name is I. 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 Super. Now let's have a go at sing, <clears throat> writing this letter. So start on the line. I'm going to start on the line again. Always starting on the line when we do letter joint handwriting. Now I'm sure that you will definitely make sure that your um, practicing is a lot neater than mine. Uh, and I really look forward to seeing your practicing of your letters. But remember, once you have done your letters, your challenge is to think of a word with the sound I in it. So let's have a think, show me your thinking faces. Hmm. A word with the sound I in it. Hmm. Okay, I think I have one ready. Fish. 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 Okay, so let's practice writing that. I. Fish. Okay, fantastic. Now it's your turn. I would like you to practice writing the letter I and then a word with the sound I in it. Pause the video now and have a go. Superstars, welcome back. Let's have a look what's next. Our word of the day. I want you to have a think. Don't shout out, just have a think. And looking really carefully. What is the word of the day? Silently thinking your head. And then when I say, you can tell me out loud, so thinking right now, what does this word say? And tell me. Excellent. It says, here. 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 Well done. Okay. Um, so it's time to practice writing the word here. So I'm going to start on the line, get my pen ready. Start on the line and write the word here. Oh, that went a little bit wobbly. So I'm going to try again. Start on the line. I'm going to really take my time. And one more time. There we go. Okay, now that I have practiced writing the word here, I need to think of a sentence with the word here in. Now, I already have one. I'm going to share it with my pencil, okay? So I'm going to look at my pen or pencil and I'm going to share my sentence, okay? I am here. I am here. I am here. And I'm going to write that sentence down. So capital letter at the start of my sentence. I am here. Full stop. I am here. Now it's your turn. I want you to practice writing the word here and then think of a sentence with the word here in it and then write it down. Pause the video now and have a go. Excellent, welcome back. Okay, so let's get started. This week I mentioned that we are going to be looking at poems. Poem. 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 Excellent. Now we are going to look at this poem and we're going to have a closer look at what makes this a poem and how we know that it's a poem. So let's get started. 
Now, the first thing I notice about this poem is that it has a title. Now, just because it has a title, that doesn't make it a poem because stories have titles. Um, instructions have titles. Loads of things have titles. But the special thing about this title is that it tells us what the poem is going to be about. Just like a title in a story or a title in instructions, they tell you what the text is going to be about. Now, I just wanted to highlight that because um, the title is just interesting and tells me what the poem is going to be about. So I've just circled the title and I'm just going to label it title. Okay, title. Now the title is Hello to Spring. So I think the poem is going to be about spring and maybe welcoming spring because it's saying hello to spring. Now let's look further into how we know that this is a poem. So something else I notice is that this poem has Three verses. Verse. 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 Now, a verse is a group of words in a poem. So, here is a verse. That's a group of words. Here is a verse. That's a group of words. And here is a verse. I'm just going to circle them and label them. And I'm going to do the same for this one, verse, and this one, verse. There we go, verse. So we have a verse. Something else that I notice about this poem is it has lines. Lines. Now we know what a line is, but in the poem, a line is just a line of words. So let's just highlight one example and let's do this in the colour blue or actually let's change it to purple. Now this here is a line. So let's label that as line because it is a line of words. Okay, so that's a line. Now the most important and special thing about a poem is that a poem has Rhyming words, rhyming words, rhyming words. Now, rhyming words are words that sound similar when you say them out loud. For example, cat and hat. These words sound really similar. Cat, hat, cat, hat. I'd like you to have a turn at saying these, so my turn. Now, saying the words out loud can really help you to hear the rhyme. So, we're going to have a go at identifying and finding two words that rhyme in this poem. Okay, so let's read through the poem together and see if we can hear any rhyming words. So, let me just get my pen ready. Spring is here. Spring is here. Leaves and buds everywhere. Caterpillars crawl along, the birds sing a cheery song. I'm just going to pause there because I have noticed two words that really rhyme. The two words that rhyme are along and song. So I'm going to write these here. Along and song. And then underneath I'm just going to write rhyming. words because those are rhyming words let's carry on reading the poem and see if we can identify any more rhyming words the smell of grass in the air children playing without a care i noticed two more words ear and care bees flying from flower to flower a rainbow appears during the fresh shower. So we've got flower and shower. The coldness of winter 
disappears. The warmth of spring reappears. So we've got disappears and reappears. Goodbye to the dark and hello to the sun. Spring is a time to play and have fun. So here we have sun and fun. Now, let me just draw your attention back to the first two lines. So the first two lines say spring is here, spring is here, leaves and buds everywhere. Now, sometimes rhymes depend on a person's accent. So we might say here, but some people say that word as though it sounds like here. So when they read this, it sounds like it might be rhyming to them. So they might say spring is here, spring is here, leaves and buds everywhere. So those two words are supposed to rhyme. It just depends on how people might say that. So I am going to circle those here and everywhere. Just going to circle those because those should be rhyming words. So this, that's a really important and special thing in a poem, that there's always a rhyming word um, at the end of the sentences. So we've got here, everywhere, along, song, ear, kid, flower, shower, disappears, reappears, sun and fun. It makes the poem sound a little bit like a song. And it gives it a bit of a rhythm and a tune. So, your task today is to read the poem out loud and label it just like we have done in this lesson. So I would like you to label the title, the verse, the lines, and the rhyming words. If you're feeling really brave, I would really love to hear you read the poem out loud to us by recording a video or a voice note of yourself and uploading it onto Seesaw. Remember to take a picture of your work and upload it just so we can see that fantastic work too. Good luck and enjoy the poem work.